hello my dear friends today we are going to see a tender router i will show you the modem uh, this is power supply and uh, well, lan cable which i connected so indicating that uh, which is connected to the laptop this is wi-fi simple this is wi-fi light which showing the cable and i will show you the model model number this is Tenta 70 BE10. This is the model and have four four out. One first one is wireless VLAN wide area network W A N and one two three. This one two three is out and WAN W A N which is we can connect from internet ADSL modem to this router. That's the port which we have to connect. Otherwise, if you connect to the another port, it will not be working. And this is with four aerial and looking very good design. The body shape is looking very good. And the internet cable, which I connected to the Ethernet jack. So we are going to enter into this laptop and we are going to configure it. So let us see how we can configure this one. Now I open Internet Explorer page. Here I am going to enter IP address. The IP address written below the router. And if it's not connected, if you don't want to connect with the laptop, you can just want to connect with the Wi-Fi. This is tenderwifi.com. So .net or .com. Let us see. It's .com tenderwifi.com. If you enter there, here if if we enter tenderwifi.com or just I will show you the IP address which I am going to enter here. One ninety two one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one. Going to enter. Rating, rating. Let us see this. Which the same IP address which I entered. Yep, one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one. For connecting the Ethernet cable with laptop, you have to connect in the one, two, three, any one of the port, not in the wireless wide area network port. If you connect there, it, it's not connecting. So I used to connect one number one. You can see how it's arrived on the screen. So the page is open. We are going to click select and start. Connect the Ethernet cable with Internet connectivity to the Internet port and then proceed with configuration. At present, we are not connecting the Internet cable. We are just only setting the Wi-Fi name and password. So I am selecting the option skip. Here you can see the name of this Wi-Fi. Change the Wi-Fi name. Let me keep the name. In the name like this and I'm just removing this one and I'm going to keep password this is my, this is my password and here there is an option set the Wi-Fi password as the login password for the admin account here login password so I'm going to type different password this is the I am going to keep it this is the login password and I am going to remove this one and 
will give the option next so it's connecting please but so can see yeah now it's connected and the options available here internet setting wi-fi settings let me check the wi-fi name and password is already we keep and at present we are not going to use 5g so i'm get off 5g after that wi-fi schedule if you want to shut down at any time like that this disable and while it's repeating we are not going to use like a repeating option if you want repeating we are going to switch on this one and we will select this device will search for the wi-fi nearby and we can use as a repeater so at present i am using as an access point channel bandwidth and ap mode transmit power it's 2.4 jhz low and 5.4 jhz medium internet settings this is the internet settings at present we didn't connect the internet cable this is guest network and uh, at present we are not going to use any guest network this is the parent control this is the, name, this is the pc which i am going to use if you want any mac address to filter that no one another person don't want to use this uh, internet you can filter the mac address and vpn at present we are not going to use any vpns and this is advanced settings bandwidth control 10 ap sleeping mode and led control this filter mac address firewall iptv static mode that is the many many options over this this is the system settings LAN settings that is if you want to keep different IP select this one you can change the IP here this is the default IP if you want different IP you can keep it different IP after the DHCP reservation this is LAN settings and time settings backup and restore firmware upgrade reboot and reset login password we are not going to do any in this we are just keeping the new Wi-Fi name and the password just like in AP mode access point mode we are going to configure configure not going to configure we are already configured you can see the name which we are keep the name here and after that we are going to just so we are going to we are asking the pin which we there was the password on back side we are going to enter the new password so connect using the security key instead so we are going to enter the password over here which we had given before so this is how to configure the tender router like an access point mode and not a repeater mode in this there is many many options so we will see later of each options if anyone have any queries you can text me in the comments thank you for much watching my video please subscribe my channel and bye bye see you